Dear friends and colleagues, welcome back to the Mangano Digital Academy and to the essential of digital dentistry. Uh, today we talk about uh, the data acquisition uh, phase and we talk about combing computer tomography again and in, in this short lecture we uh, focus our attention on the resolution of acquisition of combined computer tomography. But before to talk about it, let me summarize a little bit the, the most important four phases of the workflow in digital dentistry in the different, I mean, uh, um, uh, possible uh, clinical application, prostodontics, surgery, orthodontics. We have a scan phase with the data acquisition of our patient, 3D data through combing computer tomography, of course, for the bone, for the heart tissues, but also intraoral scanners, face scanners are used digital tondilography. We go from the real to the virtual. Then in the virtual world, in the world of software, orthodontic computer assisted design software or prostodontic computer assisted design software, and even in, uh, in surgical software, we have to elaborate this data. And then this data are used to, uh, to model some uh, device, these devices or, or, or object, this, uh, this device can be a crown, a bridge in, in prostodontics, but also a surgical guide or in, in surgery for surgery or a, a, an orthodontic device. Then when we have modeled these devices, we need to uh, physically make them uh, through uh, different machine like milling unit, 3D printer, and after that, we can use these devices or apply these uh, devices in the clinically for the last and four phases, the clinical application. When we talk about combing computer tomography, we are talking, of course, uh, about the, the, the scan phase, so the, the first phase of the workflow. And uh, we talk about really a, a game changer because this machine appeared in the late 90s and they changed completely the way we treat and our patient because they changed the the, our diagnostic capability and accordingly the, 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 the possibility to make a, a very accurate treatment plans for our patient. We can see our patient in 3D, in, in three dimension. They open the door to the three dimension and they are game changers. And it's not surprising that these machines are spreading across the world and we can find now this machine in almost all dental offices. Uh, but sometimes there is confusion about the terminology, sometimes not, not, not all the basic concepts are clear. So the question today is what is the resolution of acquisition in a combined computer tomography? Uh, we need to consider the working principle of combined computer tomography. During a CBCT scan, the scanner rotates around the patient's head, obtaining a sequence of distinct images. Then the software collects all these images and reconstructs them, producing a digital volume composed of 3D cube, we talk about isotropic voxel and the size of the voxel basically corresponds to the spatial resolution and it is intrinsically related with the pixel size of the detector. So the resolution of acquisition of combined computer tomography is usually in the order of 0.09 or to 0.4 millimeter depending by the machine. Some modern machine they have a voxel that is even 75 micrometers, so very, very little voxel. And uh, spatial resolution is the ability to discriminate very small anatomical structures. So the, the, the high spatial resolution is a feature that uh, distinguish combined computer tomography, for example, from conventional medical CT, particularly with regard to the heart tissues, so uh, teeth and, and bone. And this uh, was uh, immediately evident from the first studies we made in the early 2000s. And this is one of the most important features of combined computer tomography because uh, we, we have an incredible diagnostic potential. For example, we can discriminate very well small endodontic lesion or small periodontic lesion that was not possible to see even with the medical CT. And you can see this here. This is a very old picture uh, from many, many years ago. And you understand immediately that uh, we have uh, an higher spatial resolution with combined computer tomography when compared to the, to the conventional medical CT. So what's the, this spatial resolution? Basically, is the voxel size. So the high spatial resolution of combined computer tomography is related, is linked to the size of the voxel. So the voxel is the elementary unit of volume information represented in 3D. It represents a signal intensity value in a 3D space. So it's similar to the pixel for 2D, but here we are in 3D. 
uh, it, the, the voxel is a volume in which two dimensions are those relative to the pixel and then there's a, a third dimension, the thickness. So we can say that the smaller the voxel, the higher the spatial resolution and so the ability for us to discriminate between small anatomical structures. It's very important. And uh, this is uh, the basic, one of the basic concepts when we talk about combined computer tomography. So combined computer tomography can generate very small voxels up to 75 micrometers. And uh, it is not possible to compare this uh, spatial resolution with the resolution of conventional medical CTs. So this determines the high spatial resolution and the high quality of the images with CBCT. And when we talk about CBCT, we talk about isotropic voxel. So this basic unit, that is the voxel, normally in CBCT has the same dimension in the three dimension of the space. This is an advantage over conventional CTs because it allows the software to reprocess quite easily uh, the, the images and uh, represent them with different multi-planar reconstruction uh, and these multi-planar reconstruction are virtually dis distortion free so we can make measurement for example in the different multi-planar reconstruction without losing quality and here we can see the difference between a, a single slice a medical city versus the combined computer tomography in the combined computer tomography, the voxel is isotropic. In the medical city, it is anisotropic. So that's it. This is the voxel. Uh, the volumetric data from combined computer tomography are isotropic. It means that all the voxels are effectively cubes, cubes with the same dimensions. So it is possible to reorient the images and to investigate the patient's anatomy on different planes. This is a great advantage with combined computer tomography and the software can reconstruct different multi-planar reconstruction without any issue, without losing any data, without problems. And it's quite important. Let's see a few cases in which the combined computer tomography is a very valuable tool for the diagnosis. For example, in this case, when we have an oral antral communication after tooth extraction, it may happen. It's quite, I mean, uh, common. Uh, we have in this case a CS9300 of 5 per 5 centimeters and a high resolution of acquisition of 90 micrometers. And uh, we can see the, the quality of the image and the 3D rendering that we can see from this uh, scan. And we can perfectly find exactly locate the oroantral communication thanks to the software, to the reconstruction software with the different multiplanar reconstructions. Uh, for example, uh, it's not the, the purpose, of course, of combined computer tomography, of course, but we can also see, uh, particularly if we don't have uh, scattering from metal or metal art, metallic artifacts, we can also see deep carriers with this kind of uh, high resolution of acquisition with this small field of view with the same machine, as you can see here. So, of course, it's not the purpose, it's not the case, but if we reconstruct the volume, with a volume rendering uh, um, of the software, we can see that we are capable to see and discriminate very little structure, like for example, uh, caries, in different uh, reconstruction and very clearly. But also it's very important for small periodontal lesion and periodontal evaluation. These are only a few examples of the importance of the resolution of acquisition. If you want to have a very high resolution of acquisition with this machine, the CS9300, you need to uh, select a small field of view, 5 per 5 centimeter, in order to have the possibility to have a resolution of acquisition of 90 micrometer. And uh, here, sorry, here we can see that uh, it is possible really to make a very good evaluation of the periodontal status of the patient. And also that the uh, rendering helps us a lot to understand the relationship between the teeth uh, and the bone and where the bone is located and the, the, the integrity and the, and the periodontal problem, in this case the periodontal lesion, 
And it's very important, for example, if you want to plan some treatment, some periodontal treatment or, or uh, some other treatment to, to, to gather all this information. We can rotate, of course, the model. And so we can have uh, the perfect diagnosis thanks to the high resolution of acquisition into the images, but also the, the, the complete overview of the situation using 3D rendering and 3D images. So in conclusion, when we talk about resolution of acquisition in Combin Computer Tomorrow, we are talking about the voxel size. So the smaller the voxel, the better it is possible to discriminate small lesions, for example, endodontic or periodontal lesion. And uh, this is possible using a small field of view with a high resolution of acquisition. That is a very powerful tool for diagnosis. Today, Combin Computer Tomorrow can generate very small voxel size, up to 75 micrometer. Of course, we don't have to forget that uh, a high resolution acquisition means also a higher dose for the patient. And sometimes in very different uh, application, uh, in, in the last year in particular, the, the clinicians are trying to reduce the dose, searching for low dose protocols. And uh, low dose protocol anyway can allow to make a proper diagnosis and to plan the treatment well. So we need to discriminate between the different uh, situation because it's important to balance our treatment. Thank you very much for your attention and please uh, stay in touch with me if you want to write me. My email is there. Thank you.